Shalom, dear friends. Grab a cup of coffee. Come pull up a chair. <laughs> it's been a long week. Thank you all so much for your prayers for me throughout the week. Thank you so much for your kind, encouraging comments. Thank you for all the likes and the new subscribes. Um, thank you for joining me and so I didn't feel alone. And that's what this day number seven is all about. And that is that we are going to take everything we learned in all of our studies and now it's time to go out and share that with someone and it makes all the difference in the world. So pull up a chair and let's share. <laughs> So here's to day number seven. Did you think we'd get here? <laughs> I sure didn't think we'd get here for a little bit there. Thank you again for all of those who prayed me through this week. <laughs> but anyways, we are on our final step, um, our final day, day number seven. And that is that now that we've learned all of this and now that God has spoken to our hearts, now that we feel his hug and his embrace, it's time to go share it. It's time to share what we learned with others. And there's different ways you can do that and actually different reasons. And the first reason is, is that um, it helps you um, when you share it with others. It helps your learning because obviously other people are gonna come at things from a different viewpoint and they're gonna see things in the passage that you didn't see. This has been the best uh, thing that comes out of our Sunday night Bible study. I could read a passage and study a passage all week long and without fail, every Sunday, somebody comes and says, well, did you see fill in the blank? And I'm like, you're kidding me. How did I read that passage over and over and over again? And I never saw that. It's the craziest thing. So, in order for you to get even deeper learning, it's so important to share what you've learned with someone else. It's like um, a book club, you know, while well, they're reading and they're studying, and then you get double the knowledge or triple the knowledge or more, you know, if you have a group. And so joining a group that's studying the Bible together is an incredible blessing. So I encourage you to somehow Get out there and find someone. Um, you can do what we did, and that is uh, to start your own Bible study in your home or join a Bible study at your church, at your local church, and join in the discussion and stuff like that. Um, find a Bible study that is biblically looking at the passages, passage to passage, uh, verse to verse, and kind of digging through and you're going to be so benefited. So also on Fridays here on the channel, that's another thing we do. And I want to encourage you to use the comment section. I don't want this to be a river that only flows from me to you. When you guys do add comments and when you talk amongst yourselves, it helps me. I need the I need fresh water. I need the water to be flowed my direction as well. I can't if I'm constantly just if you're a river and it's only flowing one way, then if I'm not getting it and you know getting some other fresh views, it can go stagnant. Um, and same with if you are, you know studying the Word of God and you're sitting there um, just absorbing everything that God is pouring into you and yet you do not have an outlet to pour that out into somebody else, you're going to be stagnant. No matter what great blessings God is giving you, no matter how many times you're like, oh, what an epiphany, I can't believe this, until you start to flow that out into others and talk to others about it, it just is going to be stagnant. Um, and the other thing is, is I feel like you learn better when you speak it 
Um, you learn better when you try to teach it. <laughs> if you ever want to learn something really well, be, try to become a teacher. And I've said at the beginning of this video, I don't feel like I'm a teacher. I think um, what I am is I'm a hall monitor. <laughs> but basically, I'm just another uh, person trying to learn the Bible. And I want to learn from you. And you can learn from me. And uh, we're both learning from God, I hope. <laughs> Whoop, we got a little fighting going on over here. So um, anyways, you don't want to be a stagnant river. You want it to not only flow in from God uh, teaching you things, but also flowing out. Um, you, Like I said, you can do that in a local group, in a Bible study group at your church. You could do it here every Friday on YouTube but jump in and do the comments. Um, you also can share with the people around you. If you are at your work and somebody brings something up and it pertains to what you just learned, you have the opportunity to spill that into their lives um, and share that with them. If, um, I mean, at your work, your friends, your family, um, and that's the other scary, dangerous thing is, is not everybody wants to hear about God and the Bible. And so it does become really, really hard um, to gauge. And, you know, people are like, oh, she's that Jesus freak, you know. Um, but it's worth it. Jesus tells us, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus mandates us as Christians to go out. And that doesn't mean you have to be a missionary in another country. It only means that what God has equipped you with, what God, the talents he's given you, use that not only to bless people, but a lot of us Christians are missing the point. We're out there being really kind to people. We're um, helping the homeless. We are, you know, we're doing some good things. But if we're not pointing them to the cross, we are doing the ultimate disservice to the people. If we truly love them, we're going to show them what can happen when Jesus enters their life. And so we do that through these little passages that we keep, um, you know, we, we're studying these passages and all these little highlights are coming up. Don't, um, you don't have to be weird about it. You don't have to push this agenda on people or go, well, today I've got to share this. You ask the Holy Spirit to go out with you into the world and he will give you opportunities for just those quiet little moments. And um, what you learn that week will come into play in what you're weak. It's, it's amazing. Somebody will be struggling with something and suddenly you'll be like, oh, I just learned that in the Bible this week. Let me tell you about what God does. Let me tell you about what happened to David. Let me tell you what happened to Daniel. Let me tell you about Ruth and Esther and God's goodness. And let me tell you how they dealt with it. And maybe that would help you in your case. So our seventh uh, day is to go and take what you've learned and share it with others. And that is why I brought a second chair, is because it's time to bring somebody into your home, have some tea or coffee, or have a Bible study. Um, just share it with a friend. Don't keep it to yourself. You've got to tell others about how great our God is and how amazing reading the Bible is. And hopefully, maybe you even have a YouTube channel and you can influence a whole nother set of people um, by bringing the Bible to them. Um, also, if you want to, in your home, whether you are local or not, start a Bible study group that does exactly what our group is doing with a Facebook page and we put on videos of archaeology and all of that. I would be happy to guide you through that and even walk by your side with that. Um, if you're local and you Sunday nights don't work for you, I would be happy to walk you through another night of the week um, with different friends. We want people, we want little groups to spread across this world. 
Let's go and share what we've learned. Let's go and spread the gospel. And it, like I said, it, it can, but it doesn't have to be a, another country. It can be right here in your front room, right in your job, and right in your family, wherever, your friendships. Um, go out and spread the gospel. I love you all so much. Um, later today, if you are part of our YouTube channel, um, this is Friday. And later today, I'm going to do a video about um, our passage, um, kind of just going over uh, Jesus and feeding of the 5,000. If you are part of our local group, it's Sunday. And tonight we will have our Sunday night group. I look forward to seeing you guys. I look forward to studying our passages, especially since we missed last Sunday because of Jay and I being ill. So I'm excited to see you all tonight. If you are on to another passage, we love you. Keep coming back. Keep joining us. Um, subscribe to our channel. I'll have more tips about Bible study, about peace, about... Um, my life is trying to find that shalom and that peace. And I'll have more of these crazy animals. <laughs> so um, at the end here, I think I'm going to go ahead and put you a couple of the crazy clips of all of these animals. <laughs> and uh, anyways, we will see you in the next video. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Shalom, dear friends. So my animals have been especially troublesome <laughs> in this video. They have been all over the place. I don't even know if I can maybe at the end put you a little bit of the crazy uh, <laughs> bloopers of <laughs> this. We even had, I don't know if you'd even hear it on camera, um, baby kitty going up to our outdoor kitty who came in to get out of the cold and there was a whole hiss fest going on. <laughs> so. <laughs> See, they're very curious. Huh. You want to say hi to the people? Okay, let's start again. <laughs> Pressed to do it and just had to power through through some rough times. Uh, but God is faithful. God is good. And I felt like his spirit was with me the entire time. And my dog is drinking a lot of water right now. Let's wait for Dutchie to finish drinking. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Oh, the chaos. Goodbye, Alexander. Our little journey this week, and Dutchie says welcome as well. Um, she was must have been jealous of the last video that uh, little Gracie got to be in. <laughs> right? Were you were you jealous? Well, we have reached the end of the week. Come, pull up a chair. A little bit short for my head. <laughs> this little um, day one through seven little program is not really locked in stone. It's not like you have to fit into a mold. These are some techniques. You can move them around any which way you want. So you can do, um, you know, if you have a day off that happens to be a little bit more time, you can put the thing that takes the most time for you. Just try this out, adjust it to uh, your schedule and your life and your desires um, and the things that interest you the most. But what I hope is that you will um, discover so many new things and you will discover a God who loves you incredibly. So here we are 
Day number seven, we are at the end of our journey here. Not the end of the journey on the channel and not the end of the journey um, on our local Sunday night Bible study, but the end of learning some new skills. And the whole reason that I did this video is uh, to give people access and empower them to uh, have and encourage them uh, to say, you can do it. You don't have to be a scholar. You don't have to have a degree um, in, you know, Hebrew or, or in the word of God or anything. You can be an ordinary person, even with a disability, uh, reading disability. You can um, have any issues or problems. And God has created this story for the common man, not for the scholars. Um, so, Welcome to uh, a world, a whole new world of discovering God's goodness.